But while Aegon titled himself Lord of the Seven Kingdoms, in reality he held only six. The seventh, Dawn, had never knelt. Visenya had flown into the Vale and returned with its crown. Mimicking her sister, Rhaenys had flown over the enemy force holding the passes into Dawn and landed in the castle of its ruling lady, Princess Maria of House Martell. Maria was 80 years old, fat, bald, and blind. Behind her back, many sniggered at her as the yellow toad of Dawn. The beautiful Rhaenys probably thought as much when they met. She demanded Princess Maria kneel to her brother Aegon, though she allowed that on account of Maria's age and health, a simple vow of submission would do. But the princess told the queen that the Targaryens weren't wanted in Dawn, and no Martell would ever bow, bend, or break, no matter how badly they burned. Renée could have mounted her dragon right then and roasted Maria in the castle as her brother had done at Harrenhal. But whatever she saw in Maria's eyes, scared her right back to King's Landing, with a dragon's tail between its legs. After Aegon's coronation, Rhaenys returned to Dawn with Aegon and Visenya, and their dragons. But no armies met them in the field, and no lords defied them in their castles. As the dragons approached, Dawn simply emptied. House Martell had learned from Harrenhal and the Field of Fire. The dragons were unbeatable in battle, but wars were more than battles. Unopposed, Aegon claimed Dawn for his own, but as soon as he returned to King's Landing, his castles were hurled off towers and his royal garrison vanished in the desert, never to be seen again. Except perhaps when the winds change and the sands cough up old bones and armor. Renis returned on Meraxes, intent on revenging herself against Maria Martel, but Dawn was no longer empty. The Dornish kept Maria's promise and fought even while burning under dragon flame. And they won. One day a bow pierced the eye of Meraxes and knocked the dragon out of the sky. House Martell remained unbroken, unlike the unfortunate Rainers. In their wrath, Aegon and Visenya set flame to every castle and city but Sunspear, trying to turn the people against House Martell. But the Dornish stayed loyal. And when Aegon returned to King's Landing, he found assassins waiting for him in the streets of his own capital. If not for Visenya, the Conqueror would not have enjoyed his conquest for very long. From then on, the King and his family would be guarded by the seven greatest knights in the realm, the King's Guard. When Maria died in her sleep, her weak and tired son sued for peace. But old Maria had exhausted Aegon as well and he granted the request. The Targaryens still wanted Dawn, and eventually they would have it, but not at the point of a sword. They would buy it the same way great lords buy anything, with a daughter. <laughs>